you and I, we are running out of time, South Carolina. We're running out of time. Georgia, we're running out of time. My brothers in the South, we're losing it. I don't have time. I don't have time to be nice and civil and calm and relax with you. We have one shot at this. We have one that's running, one person running for president that wants to legalize or decriminalize marijuana. Just one. Just one. Do you know what that means for black folks? Do you understand that? Don't tell me that you team black. Don't tell me that you love black folks. And then you're going to listen to someone tell you not to vote for the one president that wants to legalize or decriminalize marijuana possession. It don't even make sense. Do you realize how many black folks are in jail right now over weed, marijuana? Do you realize this war on drugs affects us predominantly? That we are 13% of the population, but we make up 40% of the male prison population. Do you realize that black folks use drugs at the same rate as white folks, but we are almost three times more likely to go to jail for it? Do you realize there is only one candidate that wants to change that? But no, nah, you're going to listen to people telling you don't vote for him. Why? Because he's Jewish? Look, I don't care what he worships. He could be a Scientologist. I don't care. You want to legalize drugs? You want to keep black folks, poor folks, black folks out of prison for petty drug crimes? Where do I sign? And you would think that's how everyone would be, you know, because it's not like voting is the hardest thing you're going to do in your life. It's not. Voting is easy. Getting up every day and going to earn a living is hard. That's what's hard. Don't listen to people who have a vested interest in you not doing this. They don't really care about black folks. I'm sorry. They don't care. They don't care. I'm sorry. Or they're so frustrated that they no longer care. I mean, either one. Either they don't care because they're frustrated or they don't care because it makes them money. You understand? America spends $51 billion a year fighting this failed war on drugs. What could we do with, I don't know, 10% of that money. Huh? What do you think we could do with it? Huh? Bernie Sanders is the only candidate that wants to change us going to jail for petty drug crimes. Hillary took money from private prison lobbyists. Yeah, the people locking you up, she took money from them to run her campaign. So what do you think her laws are going to be? Listen. I wish I could be in Georgia right now to tell you this in person, but I don't have time. We don't have time, man. All right? I'm not lying to you. I'm not telling you this because it's cute. I'm telling you this because it's true. If we could change the war on drugs, if we could change these laws, the weed laws, 40% of the black men in jail would not be in jail right now. But what do you want to do? Huh? You want to listen to somebody tell you not to vote? You want to vote in Hillary? Hillary has made no commitment to changing this law. She says she don't. She does not want to legalize it. You understand? And if you don't decriminalize marijuana, then people are going to still get locked up for it. Them people look like me, look like you, look like your friends, your cousins, your nephews, your neighbors. Look. I want to change things. I can't change them alone. I need your help. All right? Bernie Sanders is the only choice that makes any sense. So I need you to share this video. And if you agree with it, I need you to tell friends. I need you to phone bank. I need you to reach out and tell people. Bernie Sanders is the only choice for president. We may not get this opportunity again. All right? Feel the burn. Now I gotta go. We are running out of time.